Hi, I'm John Mark Young, and this is the Whitaker Myers Wealth Manager's Question of the Week video series. Now, have you ever wanted to make a significant impact through charitable donations, but weren't sure where you could actually start? Well, this week we're going to talk about a powerful tool that you can use to help achieve your philanthropic goals, and that tool is what's called a Donor Advised Fund, or DAF. And this is going to be through a question we received from Ken in Overland Park, Kansas. And Ken asks, John, Mark, and team, we have just begun negotiations to sell our business to a private equity firm, and the proceeds will set us up for life. We will make an immediate tithe of the funds when the transaction closes, but I've been instructed by my CPA to look into donor advised funds to help fund future charitable giving since our income will never be higher than it will be this year if we close the deal. If, we, if we're gonna move forward, can you help us understand how donor advised funds work? Well, Ken, that's a great question and one that many, many business owners use when they sell a business or other people for other reasons. A donor advised funds is a charitable giving vehicle that allows individuals, families, and organizations to make significant tax advantage donations to their favorite causes. But how exactly does it work? Well, first you contribute cash, securities, or other assets to a donor advised fund, which is a separate account maintained by a public charity. This charity is responsible for managing the fund and investing the assets. Once your donation is made, you receive an immediate tax deduction for the full amount of the gift. The assets in the donor advised fund can then be invested and will continue to grow tax-free until they're given. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. You as the donor can recommend grants to your favorite charities over time. It doesn't have to be when you make the gift. This means you can take your time to decide which causes you want to support and make a greater impact. Essentially what you're doing is you're separating the gifting of the funds and the tax donation from the actual receipt of the funds with the charity. Many clients might make a large gift to a donor advised fund and then use that account to send their monthly or quarterly tithe to their church, uh, assuming the church is set up as a 501c3, which of course most churches are, over an extended period of time. Flexibility is one of the key benefits of the donor advised fund. You can donate when it's most tax advantageous to you, but decide later which charities you're actually going to support. This is especially useful if you experience a high income year and want to maximize your tax deductions. For example, you may decide in a year that you inherit $200,000, which is generally a tax-free transaction for you. That's not even a high income year under current estate laws. And you'd like to put your giving for the next five years into a donor advised fund so that you can take the deduction all in one year, itemize instead of taking the standard deduction, therefore reducing your taxable income. Then over the next five years, you do all your giving from the donor advised fund, uh, kind of like a personal foundation, all while in the last four years, you took the standard deduction more than likely. So itemized deduction year one, big deduction, then standard deductions year four and five. Whereas had you just given it over the five years, it's likely you would have just taken the standard deduction over all five years and gotten less of a tax benefit. The tax savings seen in the first year could be and create even more margin for giving, spending, saving, whatever you want. One thing to keep in mind is that you can only take a deduction for cash donated to a public charity like a donor advised fund up to 60% of your adjusted gross income. Therefore, you want to make sure that the entire gift is deductible. Otherwise, you'll have to roll the remaining deduction over to future years, but potentially muting the benefits of a donor advised fund. So for easy math here, if my adjusted gross income was $100,000, I could only give $60,000 to the donor advised fund in that year to take the full deduction. If I gave anything more than $60,000, uh, I would be dealing with rolling those donations over to future years. And that's assuming you're giving a long-term capital gain asset or cash. This is why individuals that have a high income year, uh, sounds like you can, a business owner who sells their business, maybe somebody that works for a publicly traded company and they have a lot of stock options vest in a single year, they find donor advised funds as one poten potential lucrative way for you for them to lower their tax liability because the AGI, the adjusted gross income in that year of the sale or the stock options is so large. Another benefit is the potential for your donated assets to grow inside of the donor advised fund. Since the funds are invested, they have the potential to increase in value 
allowing you to make an e even larger donation in the future to your favorite causes because of the perhaps expected growth that you would expect to see when assets are invested in the stock bond uh, traditional markets there. Now, how hard are donor advised funds to set up? Are they some arduous encumbered paperwork process? Well, donor advised funds are incredibly simple to set up and manage. The sponsoring organization takes care of all the administrative tasks, such as record keeping, grant administration, and tax receipts, allowing you to focus on what matters most, making a difference to the causes that you care about. For Whitaker Myers, those are often evangelical Christian causes. Oftentimes we can set this up with somebody like Schwab Charitable. So they're housed right at the same place your other assets are housed when you're working with Whitaker Myers. Or we even have partners that take a more faith-based approach to investing and managing the donor advised funds like people at the Barnabas Foundation we've had on one of our calls before. So why might you want to use a donor advised funds in summary? Well, let's talk about four basic things. Immediate tax benefits, number one, the second thing is flexibility in choosing what charities you would like to support. The third thing is potential for your donation to grow over time, not just the gift happening and then the gift is given, but you give the gift and it potentially grows. And the fourth thing, of course, is ease of administration. Remember, a donor advised fund is a powerful tool for anyone looking to make a lasting impact with their charitable giving. By combining tax benefits, flexibility, and simplicity, it allows you to focus on what truly matters, which is helping those in need and supporting the causes that you care about and that will move the kingdom of God forward. So if you're interested in setting up a donor advised fund, you can talk to your financial advisor and learn more all about the benefits of how it might help your particular and individual situation. And you can do that by going to the comment section of this video and clicking the link there, which will take you right to scheduling with any of our financial advisors. Now they can help you with a donor advice fund, or they can help you with anything in baby steps four, five, and six, such as setting up my retirement plan, thinking about saving for my kid's college or paying off my house early. So eventually I can get to baby step seven, where you'll probably be using a lot of giving in your life at baby step seven, because you are trying there to live and give like no one else. You could also go to that scheduling software and schedule a meeting with any of our financial coaches. If you're struggling financially today and you think I can't give because I don't have enough to go around, our financial coaches help you in baby steps one, two, and three. They help you create a plan to get going on your finances, whether it's budgeting, debt pay down, or career type of things. Things that we want to try to make a difference for the community at large, the communities that we serve. As well as if this video was helpful to you, would you do us a favor? You can do us a favor by hitting the like and the subscribe button. The like button helps push our content out to more people on YouTube and Rungbull with their algorithms, as well as the subscribe button allows our content to be pushed out to you as we release it. So thanks so much for watching this week's video. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.